We have a heavy hitting message today. Make sure you finish this one. Get through the whole message. Get through the whole workout. It's gonna be a little, I don't wanna say controversial, but it's just gonna be a little heavy hitting. There are times in life where people, maybe they'll, they'll throw like a little sucker punch at you. They got all kinds of crazy agendas and they, they get, it's getting a little mean and hateful for lack of better terms. And they will, they will do something in a mean and hateful manner. Messages, emails, communication to other people, communication to you. It's just uh, not coming from a healthy place. Let's put it that way. And how you respond is so important. You have one of three choices, and this is what I'm going to be talking about today. You dive in in the mud with them, and you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, you get dirty and nasty with them, you completely ignore it, or this is where magic happens. You try to reply, you try to come back at them in a way that serves them, and maybe even pulls them out of the mud for future situations that they're going to be in, or maybe keep themselves out of. That's the message today, my friends. Okay, we're going to start with a, uh, a body weight movement that's going to be progressing into um, a weighted movement. And this is going to be a big piece of the workout today. It's called a transverse movement. And we basically have frontal, sagittal, and transverse. Transverse is kind of the most complex of a movement. We're going to come down and touch the ground here. And then we're going to come up and twist. We're going to do two that away and then two the other way. So we're squatting down, rotating, touching the ground, and then come up and rotate through. The best way to remember frontal, sagittal, and transverse is how best to see it. A frontal move, let's say uh, lateral arm raises. This is a frontal plane. You see it well from the front, okay? A bicep curl would be a sagittal. You see it best from the side. And a transverse, this complex movement, you would actually see what's going on the best if you're looking from the top, transverse. So that's how I remember frontal, sagittal, and, and transverse. So this is just a squat with a transverse press above my head, okay? I better get my clock started. Let's get it started. I got my, I got my, uh, my wild, crazy shorts on today. I like putting things on that are bright. It fires me up, it lifts my energy. So I threw on my chesty shorts. My brother's down at Slash Fitness in Delray Beach, Florida gave them to me. Now we're gonna grab my 22 pound ramp. Look, I'm kind of matching here. All right, we're gonna go, come down, we're gonna rotate, touch that weight to the ground, come up out of that squat and twist. Two right and then two left. Yeah. So again, the three choices are go to battle with the person that's being a butthead um, or just completely ignore it or I'm telling you magic happens when you say you know what person A is being a butthead but I'm actually going to take on the role of trying to serve that person I'm going to reach out in a way that might shed the light on a few things with them help them be a better version of themselves um and may prevent them from being a butthead in the future. Let's say it like it is. Let's be direct today. Okay, we're gonna do some weighted burpees. Nice and light today. You don't have to have a weight. I've, I've demonstrated the transverse uh, squat with transverse press and the burpees without weight. Well, I've demonstrated burpees without weight many times you guys know how to do that one okay go right back into that squat with transverse press oh i love this exercise so the key or one of the keys is don't let okay, we're gonna, let me get this, this movement started and then i'll i'll talk so we're going to be in a tabletop position here Gonna rotate. If you need to set the hips on the ground, that's fine. We're gonna rotate the other way. You can keep those hips off the ground. Um, don't, don't let your cortisol levels blow through the roof. Don't let yourself get stressed out. It's so, trust me, 
we're all lying to ourselves if we say we've never done that. That initial reaction is to almost always be like that. That's natural. Somebody has thrown some mud over in your direction, thrown it right at you. Somebody's tried to make you mad, piss you off a little bit. Um, you need to hit the pause button, take a deep breath, flush the green. Maybe it was something that sent you into the yellow zone and oh man, maybe it sent you into the red zone. Flush, pause button, flush to green, flush to green, flush to green. Get your wits about yourself, get your mind right, and then respond. And you gotta decide what's counter. Coach Yancey said, I dive into the mud and get hateful with them. I ignore them or I try to serve them and oh man, that is great leadership right there. When you try to serve somebody that's been a butthead to you. Oh, this message, this message is powerful. Just got a message from somebody that was a little bit of a butthead, 100%. I don't think they were thinking through how they were messaging. And so I said, you know what? Live and imp Live when it's on my live brain, man. It's, it's, it's heavy on my brain. Let's shoot the workout right now. The, the, the Yancey Thanos of Austin folks are gonna get a good, authentic, honest line of communication with Coach Yancey during this one. Because I'm literally shuffling through my mind. No matter what, I'm never gonna jump in the mud with you. I'm gonna ignore it, or I'm gonna try to serve you. So I'm, I'll be honest, I'm going through my mind but what's, what approach am I gonna take? So talk to me, message me after you watch this video, but you gotta get the workout in also. Don't message me unless you get the workout in. You got that? Message me. Talk to me about some situations you're going through. What category did you choose? Did you drop A, did you jump off in the mud with them? B, did you ignore it? C, did you serve them? What is it? We're crawling, folks, we're crawling. When you go back, I want to sit down into a good squat. Hip crease at or below the knees if you can. Last one. Okay, now we're gonna go a little heavier. We're gonna go a little heavier. 44. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice and warm. Keep that weight close to your body. Oh, but you don't have to go heavier. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Weight of burpees, four. You go until I'm done. You make it three, you make it five, you may only get two. Heck, you make it six. Coach is moving a little slow today. <laughs> but I like the message. I really, really like message. Huh. Wait down. Here we go. I'm moving pretty fast here. You need to slow it down. Ah. Okay. We're up. Balancing on our right leg. You guys know I love this one. Ah, hip stability, come on. Ah, hold it, Yancey. Switch sides again. Ah, oh, hold it. Come on, steady as you go. Switch. Light those hips up. Oh, saved it. Saved it. Ah. Couple weighted burpees. Let's go. I'm sorry. Body weight bur burpees, I meant to say. I'm going to get four. You go until I'm done. Stay on my, my time pace. 
You don't have to stay on my number. Go until I go. Okay, side to side squat jumps. Here we go. You need to step through it. That's fine. You can. Let's go. Give me some arm action now. Split squat jumps. If you need to step through it like this, that's just fine. If you can, let's leave the ground a little bit. Looking good. Give me some punches, come on. Come on. Back to our lightweight. Speed things up a little bit here. Bam. Touch and go. Three. Three each side. Huh. One. Two. Three. Three burpees. One. Two. Three. Okay, changing things up a little bit here. We're gonna go to a thruster. Okay. Front rack with the weight. We're gonna squat down, press it above the head. Come on, try to get those hip creases at or below the knee. Oh, we're crawling. Come on, stay in the game. Big messes today. You may be dealing with a situation right now, similar to what I was talking about. I know you've dealt with them in the past, and I know probably all of us at one point in time have chosen A, B, or C method that I talked about. You dove in the mud, you ignored it, or you dove in and you tried to serve them through their ridiculous fashion of reaching out when they were hateful, they were disrespectful, whatever they did, you tried to serve them. So, we've all been there. I can tell you which one is the most rewarding. Always try to serve. I always say, unless you're breaking into my house to harm my family, in most cases, not all, I need to choose to try to serve you. Even when you're being hateful to me, disrespectful to me. Um, so that's the message. I hope that helps you. I really do, my friends. Thank you so much. We're obviously back to Raider Burpees. Thank you so much for giving me 10, 15 minutes of your time today. Please, please share the message. Anybody that you think needs four, five, six, 10, 15 minutes workout, 10 to 15 minute workouts in their life every, every week. Pass it on to them. I make them for all levels of fitness. If you can walk and breathe, you don't even have to really be able to walk for most of it. If you're breathing, most of you can do this workout. And I hope you enjoyed the mental conditioning message. I'm a firm believer it's 51 plus percent of the equation. The chin up. Our mental fitness is so dang important. I lean on it heavily for myself. Thank you for being a good listener. It helps me mentally and physically. Keep climbing, no whining. Do everything you can do to light up this beautiful planet of ours today and live, love, laugh, and serve big. But big, big focus on the serve. Let's go!